Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In case you don't know, my name is Bobby and I am the social media manager for Swirly Curly. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you my natural hair journey. The whole thing, okay, from beginning to present time. Okay, so let's get right into it. Guys, this is the truth. This is what I looked like the day I got my hair cut. So as you can see, my hair was pretty damaged. And this is the cut. I got some Marley twists because the purpose of me getting my hair cut was to start my natural hair journey. However, I didn't know how to do my hair, so I ended up wearing a lot of buns. So this is my hair in its first afro. And this was the, my first twist out ever, guys. First one ever, and you know, I have come a long way. So I had gotten my hair pressed before I went back to school and I got another haircut. And eventually I just started wearing it curly. You know, I would just put it up in a ponytail or a bun but you can see my ends. Ooh, these ends need help. This was the second twist that I tried to do. Honestly, this twist out was not that bad. It was just the back of my head. I didn't know how to part my hair, and I feel like twist outs are as much about the parting as it is the actual twist itself. But then everything changed when I decided to bleach my hair and get it pre pressed, okay? So I bleached it and then put red color on the bottom, on um, the ends of my hair, and I really loved it. However, my hair did not, okay? You can see my hair was already stringy, and you know, even when I wore it out, I really liked how I looked this day, but in the back of my head, I knew that I needed to get rid of them. So this is the day before I decide to get a haircut. The left is before, the right is after. As you can see, there is a definite difference between the two. And after I got my haircut, it was go time, okay? So I started trying to experiment with styles. These are finger coils that I did one time. I never did them again. Still to this day, I've never done finger coils again. And then when I took my braids out, it was back to the puff. Like, I didn't really, I wasn't comfortable wearing my hair down during this time. This is my hair out. I was not comfortable with this at all. And so I just put it up after that. I was puff queen, guys. I was rocking the puff, always. You did not see me without a puff. So this is the day that I tried to do Bantu knots and I hated it. It was a huge failure. I thought I'd look like a little boy, but I just could not. So I put it up, you know, typical. You guys know the drill at this point. And this was my first ever attempt at a braid out. Moving on, I did not do this flat twist style myself. My friend did it because I didn't know how to do stuff like that. But I liked the look. I mean, it wasn't hideous. Um, I just didn't know how to do it on myself. So I just never did it again after this. I did wear a lot of head wraps during this time. I This is when I first started learning how to wrap a wrap my head wrap. And I wore them often. Um, if I wasn't wearing a puff, I was wearing a head wrap. It was one or the other 24 seven. This guys was my first ever successful twist out and you, you saw how bad that first one was. So I'm so proud of myself for getting to this point. It took me about a year and a half before I got a good twist out. So I say this to say that, you know, don't be so frustrated when you first do a style and it doesn't work out the first time around because I had tried many a time to get a twist out right and I had failed so many times but eventually I got a good one. Summer 2017, I was a swim instructor this summer so I wore braids all day every day. Um, I mean I had no other option since I was swimming every day during the summer and I didn't want to swim with my natural hair. When I got back to school in September of 2017, I got my hair pressed and I dyed it brown. So this is that fresh brown color. These twists, this pattern of one down the middle of my head, uh, two on each side of my head, and then the rest were straight down the middle. I use this pattern for every single twist out I did and that is what got me my good results. I feel like getting a decent looking twist out isn't about the products that you use, it's about the technique and it's about the pattern that you lay your hair out when you actually twist it. So this is my first ever dry twist out and this is when I discovered volume and my love for volume. I had basically just twisted my hair on dry hair and I got that look. And this is another twist out on the left in my deep condition on the right. I deep condition every week. I did not miss a beat. Every Sunday I was deep conditioning my hair. 
so I ended up flat ironing my hair again for a renaissance ball that I was going to but you know of course you know I'm back to the head wraps afterwards because I really had no other choice at that point so in this picture this is right before I decided to dye my hair this is December 2017 during this time I didn't know that my ends were broken off I didn't know that they were splitting to me this was normal i i really had no idea but i did end up dyeing my hair and i loved the color but the high ended there because as soon as i got back home and started doing my hair i started noticing that my hair really wasn't as healthy as i thought it was okay so this was a failed wash and go and it was failed because do you see this like, babe, do you see it? Cause I see it. This was a wash and go. This is the beginning of 2018. My twist outs were looking good. Like my hair looked very healthy, but for me, it just wasn't, it just didn't really feel the same. I really just honestly wanted a change. I was getting bored with my hair, so I just cut it. I big chop. What did I just do? <laughs> I cut off this much of hair, this much, and I... So this is the hair that I cut off, and I can tell you guys, like, I big chopped on April 25th, 2018, and um, after that, I really just could not stand my hair. It was hideous to me. And um, I had never seen myself with short hair like this before. And it was a huge, huge jump. I also cut off more hair than I probably should have. But I never really thought about like how much I should cut, where to cut, you know? So I just started snipping away. And before you knew it, I had no hair. Looking back, I probably just needed a trim you know, a decent trim to get me back together. But I feel like a big chop is such a valued part of the natural hair journey. So, I mean, I guess it's good that I went through that, but in the moment, I really hated my hair. Went to the hair salon, bleached my entire head, and this was the outcome. Honestly, guys, I loved it for the first few days. I was rocking it. You couldn't tell me nothing about myself. I thought that I was so cute. And it was really refreshing. I really needed a, a strong, significant change to make myself feel better about my hair. But, you know, over time, I just really started to hate the blonde hair. So this was the first twist out that I tried to do with my short hair. And let me tell you guys right now, if you are in the TWA stage, please cherish the TWA stage. You see how many twists I got in my hair? At least, what, 30, 40? You know how long it took me to put in those twists? At least an hour. Short hair, you know, we're anxious to do the twist outs. We're anxious to do the Bantu knots, you know, get all of the fun styles that you can do when your hair is longer. Around this time, I was feeling really insecure about my hair. So I would try to overcompensate by, you know, wearing super big earrings all the time and putting on a lot of makeup and whatnot. But I feel like it's best to just let ourselves be, you know, and like stop trying to overcompensate for something that we think that we need when it's been inside of us this entire time. So I decided to dye my hair again because the blonde, she was tired. So I went jet black. This is October, 2018. I had actually discovered that I could do a puff. You know, my twists were getting just a little bit longer and I was able to do a little bit of a twist out get my little fro together this is my six months um exactly this picture right here that is exactly six months since i big chopped so this is eight months post big chop this is a wash and go and this is nine months exactly post big chop these this is the progress that my hair had made so far this is a wash and go and this, and this is just um, a length check. Every time I did my hair, I would always pull it down in my face to see like, ooh, okay, so now it's down past my eyebrows and now it's past my nose and now it's past my lip. Now it's past my chin. So um, that is something that I really encourage other naturals to do, especially like if you're super into checking your, your hair journey, your hair status like I was. 
At this point, this is about 10 months post Big Chop. And as you can see, my twists are now past my eyebrows, which was a huge accomplishment. And this is 11 months post Big Chop. My puff had actually started to look like my previous puffs again. It was coming back, guys. And so I would do buns a lot with extra braiding hair. So here, here's just a bun. And then this is what would it would look like underneath my bun. <laughs> I was about to turn 21. So I got this wig, but it ruined my hair. I really believe that it did. And let me tell you why. I only wore it for about a week, maybe two. This wig had clips in the front of it, okay? And I would put the clips right at my hairline to try and secure the wig. But using those clips had significantly weakened my hair to the point where my hair wasn't able to recover. This is what my hair had looked like. I had lost some volume in the front of my head and near the back as well. But I didn't notice because since I was wearing protective styles so often, I didn't know what my hair actually looked like in its like wash and go state. This is my twist out April 24th, 2019. This is one day before my big chop anniversary, one year. So for my one year, I got my hair flat ironed. So this is what my hair looked like. I had made a lot of progress, I must say. My friend had braided a little part in my head and I had just slicked down my straight hair and popped a ponytail on the end of it. This picture is my hair blow dried the day before I got braids. So I was preparing for a trip to China and these are the braids that I was wearing while I was in China. And I had these braids in for about six weeks, which I normally never do. And I, my hair had grown quite a lot and I didn't know that my hair had been damaged previously due to the wig back in April. Right now, this is June 2019. So by me having these braids in for six weeks, my hair had really been affected in a negative way. My hair in the front was breaking off and I didn't know. I thought that it was just extra baby hair. No, it was actually broken off hair. You can see I have two clips in the front of my hair because I thought that my hair was just shorter in the front from where it was broken off. So I put those clips there to try and elongate those broken pieces because I had no idea why they weren't the same length as the rest. This is July 2019. Um, I was still able to do a bun without a bobby pin. August 2019, I had tried to do my first protective style ever myself. And as you can see, it is a fail. I went to the hair salon. I wanted my hair to be dyed orange, but instead I got this crimson color. I, I saw it. This is my first time ever really pulling up my hair in looking the breakage square in its eyes. It made me really sad, honestly. I did cry about it because I had spent over a year at this point growing out my hair and you know, really nourishing it and all because I wanted to wear a wig with clips in it. It had weakened my hair to the point where it had just, it couldn't take the box braids and it had just completely fallen out. I was surprised to see that I still had this much hair left because at the time, all I saw was breakage and I just thought that I had nothing left. So I decided to get a protective style. Um, I had my hair, I had my friend cornrow my hair. And so I decided to try another wig, guys. I know what you're gonna say. You know, like, hey, didn't a wig do this to you in the first place? Yes, but it wasn't the wig, it was the clips for the wig, okay? And I'm not against wigs. I'm definitely not against braids and protective styles. It's the clips. If you're gonna wear a wig, please cut off the clips on the inside. This wig that I'm wearing, it came with clips. I cut off the clips and I had sewed an elastic band on the inside of the wig cap. So that way it still sat on my head nice and snug. And I was still tracking my breakage at this time. So you can see this is where the breakage was at. It hadn't really grown much. So this day I decided to get a haircut. Um, I wanted my hair to be shape of a circle. And also I, was highly convinced that my hair was just past the point of no return so i just wanted a cut this is november 2019 this is what i looked like afterwards so you can see in the back my hair was a little bit shorter than i thought it was going to be it didn't even fill up my ponytail anymore barely touched the back of my neck blow dried so i knew that when my hair was wet it was going to really shrink up so this day i had blow dried my hair uh, preparing for graduation and these are 
the braids that I got for graduation and this is what I looked like the day I graduated college. This is December 2019 so this is exactly six months after my hair had broken off the first time. So going into 2020 this is what I looked like and this was the first um, wash and go that I had done since I graduated from college and this is what it looked like when it had dried so this was me not touching it at all. I had been so used to seeing my hair in twist outs. It was kind of refreshing to see my hair you know, in its 100% natural state and like see the different textures and tones and the color of my hair. So this is what that wash and go looked like. And this is what it looked like after I put it up in a puff. Of course, you guys should know me at this point. This is February, 2020, the puff stayed around. So this is the last day before quarantine. This is March 11th, 2020. So once quarantine came, I just wore twists every single day I wore mini twists and but I still continue to do my hair I did find time to occasionally take out my twists you know do my makeup get myself together just do something that reminded myself of what life was like before the pandemic started and so here guys this is April 2020 this is an update on the breakage from before it had definitely grown out it had I mean it still wasn't to the point where I wanted it to be but it had grown for sure. Um, this is a twist out. This was actually a really good hair day for me, honestly. So here I had braided my hair and I discovered a new pattern that I wanted to try out. This one would give me a middle part. This is my hair as soon as I took out the braids and this is what my braid out looked like. I really enjoyed it. Braid outs were my best friend during this time. I wanted braids so I blow dried my hair and I had set off to do my own braids for the first time ever in my entire life and you know what guys I did them and they came out pretty good I had tried to do my own protective styles before as you had seen and they were fails so I was really happy to finally get a success story out of here do not get yourself down when you try these styles and you fail because eventually you will succeed if you keep at it when I took out my braids this is what my hair looked like also it was noticeably um, a different color it had definitely faded my black hair was a thing of the past. It had gone back to brown. I had blow dried my hair this day because I had gotten a little confident now that I could do my own box braids and I decided to do another style. So here are knotless braids again, but this time I stuck jewels at the bottom of them. And let me tell you, this style was everything. I was so, so happy and so pleased with how it came out. I only kept it in for a couple weeks though and I ended up taking my hair out again and this is what my hair looked like. My hair was growing for sure. This was the best hair day I have ever had ever in my life. Do you see that volume? Do you see that texture? And let me tell you how I got it. You can actually go look for yourself. I did a video on this. I used an old twist out or an old braid out and I just braided it again on dry hair. I didn't put any product on, didn't spritz it with water. I just braided it and I ended up with this look and this is what my hair would look like after i would put it up in a puff with those dry braid outs so this day it was time for me to trim my hair uh, my ends were just so bad they were terrible like i couldn't do my hair without my fingers getting caught so i trimmed my hair this is about how much i trim every single time you know i wanted to experiment with more colors without dyeing my hair or bleaching it um because Whenever my hair was bleached, it was definitely dry on the ends and it definitely impacted my style. So I don't really wanna bleach my hair again. I don't really wanna dye it again. So I tried out these um, wax colors, which you guys saw, I have a video on that. You can uh, click the card in the top right corner if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look. And this is what I currently look like. My hair, this is what my hair looks like now. Really, this is it blow dried and i put in another protective style so i have just braided my hair um again and this is what i look like so we are now 100 percent caught up to the present it brings us to the present guys so if i have to say one word about my hair journey it is transformative mentally emotionally physically um and if there's anything i have to say guys it is consistency i deep condition my hair every single week okay i moisturize my hair maybe not every single day but at least once a week i will moisturize my hair i trim my hair whenever i feel like it like the ends are just crispy and crunchy okay like you really have to watch your hair learn your hair in order to be great you know so um 
I believe in you. I'm rooting for you. Please put any questions that you have for me and my hair journey in the description below. And just a friendly reminder, we are doing a huge giveaway on this channel, okay? So as soon as we get to 20,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away one turban towel to a lucky subscriber, okay? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to make sure you get notified for all of our videos, okay? So that way you could be one of our lucky subscribers that wins the free turban towel, okay? But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye!